We are Team Fitz Graphics and today we're going to be showing you how to put on an oversized football helmet decal. When you get your helmet decals, it's going to come in a standard sheet, much like this. Um, as you can see, I've already put one on the side of the helmet, just so you can get a good idea of what it's going to look like. Um, you're going to want to use certain things as a frame of reference, so that on the other side you can make it mirror the image. Um, just kind of look at where it's compared to the snaps and these contours of the helmet. Each helmet is different as well. I'm sure um, your team probably has several several different types that it uses. So the vents, um, you know, contours of the helmet are going to be very different um, based on the model. But these decals should wrap around and fit most any. So what you're going to do, kind of sit in your lap. It's easiest to do this if you're sitting down. Like I said, you want to kind of use those reference points that you did before. Kind of set a little bit of a, of a base point there. Kind of move your way up. And you can take a look at it to see. They're pretty close. So we're going to start from here. Now I suggest doing the bottom half and the top. So all you want to do is just continue, follow the contours of the helmet always pushing towards the edges and then when you get to a vent like this just let the decal kind of take over just keep pushing and you'll finish now you can take this up and reposition it but you're going to want to do it right away the longer you wait the stronger that bond is going to build with the helmet so you aren't going to be able to make adjustments later on so we'll just keep working our way Cross the helmet here. I'm going to say always pushing towards the edges. And this is our 20 mil thick material, so it does fit to the contours, contours of the helmet very well. Then afterwards, when applicable, um, you're going to want to use an X-Acto knife. Um, preferably use one with a, a new blade. The sharper, the better. And what you're going to want to do is just cut out the decal where the vent is. I'm going to just press down the edges to make sure that they're all securely down. And there's your helmet decal.